Welcome to this video on Vue.js. Great to have you here because Vue.js is awesome. Now, in this video, I want to have a look at a little bit more advanced concept, computed properties. I assume you are familiar with the very, very basics of Vue.js. If not, I do have videos on those too on this channel. Also, you might want to check out the video description. There you will find further resources, including a very, very, very comprehensive full course on Vue.js I created. With that, let's dive into computer properties and see what they are and how they work. I get this example application, a very simple one. I get a button where I listen to a click and execute the increment method down there. And in this method, I simply add two to a counter property and one to a clicks property, which is stored in my data object. With counters and clicks set up here, I then simply output them in the template here and I can click increment to increase the counter by two and the clicks of course by one. That's nice and there's nothing wrong about this code, though we can improve it. If we had different places in this application where we want to increase the counter and add something to clicks, but for some reason we couldn't share this increment method because we want to execute some other code there or slightly different code, anything like that, well then a computed property might be great. Generally, a computed property is a great idea whenever you have one uh, property which depends on another one. So that is the key, a property which depends on another property. Like here, we can say counter kind of depends on clicks because we could also rewrite this as this clicks times two. Though we need to change the order then here because if I now hit enter, well, this still is correct. It still is the same behavior as before when we had the counter simply uh, incremented by two all the time. Now we simply duplicate clicks because that's the same effect. So we can say counter depends on this clicks property. Therefore, we can add a computed property and we do so by adding the computed property to our view instance, another reserved word, another reserved property there, which also is an object. Now in this object, we set up all the computed properties we want to have. And now important, a computed property here actually simply is a method. So this method would be called counter, let's say. So I write this as a method, but I still output it like a property in my template because behind the scenes, Vue.js will simply take the value this method returns and take it as a value for this counter property, which is kind of created behind the scenes by Vue.js. So here I can then simply return and I have to return something in a computed property. I can return this clicks times two. And that of course means I can remove it here. So now what happens is if I click the increment button, let's see it. It still works as before, but behind the scenes it works differently. I click this button and the increment method gets executed. Now in this method, I only change the clicks property. However, I also tell told Vue.js that I have this counter property, which is actually a computed property since it is stored in the computed object here in the view instance. Vue.js recognizes this and analyzes this counter method as it is here. But again, behind the scenes, it's treated like a property. Vue.js recognizes that counter here, this property, depends on my clicks property because I'm using this clicks inside of the method body of my counter method here. And that means whenever clicks changes, Vue.js will also rerun this counter method, therefore recalculate the value of my counter property and update this in the DOM as well. This gets especially very useful if you've got many dependencies, many connections in your application, and then using such a computer property is a great place to ensure that your app is really reactive and gets updated at the right time in the right place.